Hello everyone, I'm Ariana and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I know I'm at a weird angle right now, but the way that my lighting is set up, this is kind of my only option. Maybe I can adjust it a tiny bit. Okay, that is good enough in my opinion. So, this video has been a long, long, long time coming and obviously you already know what this is based on the title and I am doing my Project Pan finale, my Pan 18 and 2018. This is, this is it, this is it, this is where we are. I've been working towards these goals this entire year and it's really kept me grounded throughout the year to kind of have one consistent goal that I can actually obtain because I know in life that there are many many different goals that we want to obtain there's so many things that we all want to accomplish in life and some things are just much harder to reach than others so I think it's good to have something small and obtainable and easy to work on so enough said my intros are always a million years long <laughs> So let's just get into this. My eyes look really shiny today. Hello. Okay, so I have my little book here. This was my planner from 2018. Loved it, loved it. Um, I tried to plan out my life as much as I could. So let me find my list here. Yes, so I had 18 items this year that I wanted to some things I wanted to finish, some things I just wanted to kind of get more use out of. So I think what I'm going to do is start with the most successful things and then I'll get into the items that were more of a learning experience for me. <laughs> um, so ultimately I do feel like this project was quite successful. I not only moved things out of my collection that I um, just had had in here for a long time, but I also learned a lot about myself, I learned a lot about my makeup preferences, and I learned a lot about the products that I already own and what I like about them and what I don't like about them. So let's just start with the things that I finished up this year. Um, these are the things that I no longer have in my collection uh, because I completely finished them up. And that is the... Wet n Wild Retractable Liner. That one was gone pretty early on. The Wet n Wild Liquid Liner in the shade Indigo. That one I finished up this summer. The e.l.f. Makeup Lock and Seal. The e.l.f. Concealer Stick in Tan. The e.l.f. Lip Liner in Bitten Berry. The ColourPop Lipstick in Frickin' Frack. And then the ColourPop Lipstick in Salt. So out of 18 products that I had, I finished up 7, and that doesn't sound like a lot because it's not even half, but I feel that that was extremely successful. The fact that I was able to move anything out of my collection is positive for me. I just want to make sure that my makeup collection is going to be maintained. Like I don't want to be putting too many things in and not moving things out at the same time. So okay let's move on to the things that I feel had the most progress. Even though I did not finish up this palette I feel that this was a huge success for me. I got so much done on this palette. I'm really proud of myself. There were two shades in this palette that I was able to repurpose so they're out of this palette but they're still this one is in a nail polish and this one is in a body oil so for all intents and purposes i was able to finish those two up this one here i have been using to fill in my eyebrows and i've been loving it that way i've made a lot of progress on this using it that way i don't i feel like if i had not done that i wouldn't have gotten any progress on that shade because i just didn't like it on my eyes but putting it in my brows was like the best decision I ever made. This shade I did get quite a bit of progress on, this gold here, but ultimately I realized that it was just not my favorite gold and I have so many other golds that I just decided that it wasn't worth my time. This shade was probably my favorite. Um, it's like a really nice frosty white color and I used it a lot as a highlighter, just on my cheeks, on my brow bone. These ones right here, that's pretty much what I was using them for. Recently, I've gotten a lot of use out of this rose gold shade. I was kind of hoping to use it up before the update, but it's already the 28th as I'm filming this, and I just, I know I'm not gonna get that much more progress in the next few days, so that's why I'm filming this video now. And this pink shade, you can see those rims there, so it's on its last leg. It's really, 
I'm just so proud of myself, honestly. I did a lot more than I thought I would do in a year. My plans for this palette moving forward, I originally thought that whatever I had in the palette at the end of the year, I was just going to throw it away, toss it, but I don't know. I kind of want to roll these three shades into next year, and I just want to finish them up, and then I'll toss them, because I've gotten so far on it, I just feel like it would be a shame to just not at least try to finish them. If I get to a point where I just don't feel like using them anymore then I'm not going to I'll toss them at that point but I really do think I can finish these up and it will be so satisfying to do so and when that happens I will definitely let you all know um, but of course this is the final update so that would be more of an informal oh god that would be more of an informal kind of thing so the things that I was able to mark in my book kind of mark the progress of I kind of tried to do that. This was the first attempt at doing so and I kind of ran out of room. So these two items here I finished up, but the e.l.f. shadow stick in the shade Pearl, the liner side has been finished up and as you saw in my last update, I kind of accidentally broke this off. So it's just kind of sitting in there right now. It's still functioning, but... I haven't honestly really used it that much since that update because I knew it was broken. However, I do want to show you just how much progress I've gotten. So this is where I started, right here. And when I line it up, I have used so much of it. I've used more than half. I've used more than half of what was there at the beginning of the year. And for that, I'm extremely proud. So I may or may not continue to use this. Like I said, it kind of broke off and I just stopped using it after that. But there's really no reason why I can't roll this over and try to finish it. So I would have no current plans for this one, but that is how far I've gotten. The next most impressive progress that I made was on my eyebrow kit from e.l.f. Look at that serious pan in there. When I started this, there was no pan. And I pretty much used this kit exclusively um, until I hit pan and then I stopped using it, started using my brow, or I started using my eyeshadow as a brow powder. But I did use this a few more times since the last time I updated on it and expanded the pan a little bit more because at first it was just two small pans and I have connected the pan. So I'm going to continue to use this. I really enjoy this product. I'm not going to continue to try and pan it though because it's just not something that I want to continue to pan, but I will keep using it at my leisure. I did get a considerable amount of use out of my Mega Liner, my Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the shade Dark Brown, but I don't know, recently it started to irritate my eyes a little bit. There's still a lot in there because it's not streaky or anything like that. It's getting to a point where I'm going to have to toss it soon because when I wear it, it does kind of irritate my eyes. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to keep using it just like these other things, but I have no intentions of forcing myself to continue to pan it. So this is the last item that I feel successful about. Is my throat getting dry? What's going on here? So this is the Sephora Contour and Highlight Palette. As you can see, this setting powder right here, I've gotten so much progress on. It's almost done. I think what I'm going to do from this point forward is crush this up, repress it, and put it in the center of the pan so that it's easier for me to use. It's getting kind of difficult to get my brush into these corners here. And maybe when I repress it, the formula will be better because I kind of stopped using this after I realized that the powder was making my under eyes crease. Um, I was kind of hoping to be able to hit pan on this shade before the end of the project, but I was not. However, I do have a very serious dip in that one shade. And I do have a small dip started in this bronzer here. Um, however, I don't have quite as much progress on this shade. So I consider this a success because of the pan in that one shade. Uh, but I will continue to use it. Now onto the things that I feel slightly less successful about. I have the Blush and Luminizer Quad from Sephora. I was kind of working on this blush shade... I cannot talk. I was working on this blush shade the most throughout the year, and I do have a significant dip in that, but I just kind of got tired of it towards the end of the project, and I didn't really want to use it anymore. 
So when I don't feel like using something, then I'm just not. So I think what I'm going to do with this is just put it to the side. It's not an eye palette, so I don't feel bad about holding on to it a little bit longer. I'm just going to put it away, and if I decide, hey, I really want to reach for that one shade in this palette, then I will take it out then. But for now, I just want to put it away and not think about it. <laughs> for a while and work on some other blushes and other highlighters because I have so, so many. I will take this to travel with me though because I like the fact that it has two blush options and two highlighting options. Now, here comes the embarrassing ones. The remaining products here are products that I decided to take out of the project altogether because I knew I was just not gonna use them anymore. And I'll start with the e.l.f. cream blush in the shade Rose Royalty. This is where I am with that. I've kind of had to scrape off the top layer a couple of times because it gets dry or it gets really gunky and I just, I'd rather just scrape off the top and get fresh product than just keep using it and letting bacteria and stuff grow in there. No. So that's pretty much the only reason I have even the slightest bit of progress in this because I have not been using this. <laughs> I just learned that I don't really like cream products that much, or I don't like cream blush all that much. But it is my only cream blush, so I will hold on to it. It doesn't smell weird. There's nothing really wrong with it. This one I'm sad that I didn't use more. I think I was just so overwhelmed. I'm the type of person that if you tell me that I have to do something, then I'm going to... Put it in my head that I'm not gonna do it and that was the thing with this because I truly do love this highlighter but because it was in this project pan and I had it in my head that I was supposed to be using it I purposefully rebelled and just didn't use it I don't know what that's about but that's just how I am if you tell me to do something especially if it's something that I already know I like and you're telling me now I have to do it then I'm gonna be like no I don't have to do that I'm not gonna do it I'm rebellious. I'm a little rebellious and that's what happened with this, but I do truly love this highlighter. It's so gorgeous and very reflective. Oh, let's find it. Very, very reflective, especially compared to my other products. So I think I'm going to try to get a little bit more use out of this, but on my own time. And last but not least, I have my three lip products here. I will try to line them up with their starting points just so we can compare front to back like where did we start with and where did we end with so here's where we started with those lipsticks i'll line them up one by one which one did i use the most i probably used midnight trolls the most this is how much of it i have left i do have a backup of it i love this color so much so this is where i started and this is where i am now i'm trying to line it up as best as you can if you can see those lines back there so that is how much progress I've made. It's not a lot, but some progress is better than no progress. I could have just decided I wasn't gonna use this at all, but that's not what happened. Um, I'm gonna keep using this. MAC lipsticks I found last a really long time because I've had some other lipsticks for a shorter amount of time than I've had this one, and those expired first. This one still smells just like it did when I got it. It has that like light vanilla scent so i'm really not afraid of this going bad right now so i'm just gonna keep using it until it does that's just what is gonna happen and next i have my elf vampy violet shade this is not vampy violet this is definitely black i'll be right back take two all right here is elf's vampy violet that's much better, right? That's where I started and here's where I, am, where I am. So I literally might have used this only a couple of times. Yeah, that's honestly just embarrassing at this point. I had like three of these too and I gave both of the other ones away because I hadn't opened them. I wasn't using this one. So even though I love this color, I really thought that they were going to discontinue it, which is why I bought so many of them. And they were on sale for like $1.20 or something. But that was stupid. I shouldn't have done that because these are only $3 in the first place. There was no need for me to run out and buy a backup of something that I wasn't even close to finishing. And I think that's one of the things that I've learned throughout this project is just how long it really does take to use up makeup. But yeah, not a lot of progress on that. It's the same with this Sephora lipstick in the shade Sephora Rouge. Oh, sorry. This is the Sephora Rouge lipstick in the shade Crush. 
didn't really like the formula of this, which is why I didn't use it that much. It was very drying. Even though I liked the color, I'm not even going to swatch it. I'm not going to bother. Even though I liked the color of it, it just, it was way too drying on my lips for me to bother trying to use. This one is like literally the least amount of progress out of all of them because that's where it started and that's where I am now, which is the exact same because I used this like two times the entire year. So with this, what I'm going to do is I am just going to declutter it. I'm just gonna declutter it. I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't want it anymore. I don't want to use it. I'm not gonna force myself to use it. I have s literally so many lip colors. If you all want to see a makeup inventory at the beginning of the year, um, I will do that. So that's it. That's everything. Those are all the items from this project pan. I really hope that you've enjoyed following me this year. I do plan on doing another one next year. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already. Don't forget to like this video and comment down below. Let me know what you have used up this year. Let me know what you've learned from your makeup this year. Leave all that stuff down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you the next time.